I think it's really to impact people at all levels of society, but especially business leaders, military leaders, non-for-profit leaders, and then let it filter down. Because if these principles can start at the top and filter down and people walk the talk with these principles, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have an incredible effect on the organizations, which ultimately will impact our whole society and culture. So I'm thinking big. Uh, I really do want to uh, see our leaders leading with honor because it will have an impact. So I think it's, uh, it will fit most any audience, but it's especially oriented toward leaders and for developing leaders. I can't think of anything I've read, seen lately, that would be more helpful to someone who wants to develop the leaders under them. And that's what leaders should be doing. In fact, uh, early on in the, in the introduction, I'd say, who's going who's gonna to do this and who's going to do that and who's going to, well, ultimately, the leader's the one responsible. And who's going to develop the next generation of leaders? Well, it's the current generation of leaders. And they have to own that responsibility, and I think this will be a big help to them in developing that next generation of leaders. Uh, so I, I'm excited about that, seeing these younger generation of leaders being able to have these principles early on in their career and not have to stumble around and learn so much by trial and error. They can remember the stories from the POW camp, remember the case studies, see the coaching, and actually learn these principles early on. Because when you have principles at work, you can build on that and you can take them to the bank and know they're going to work for you.